Hello there, this is Joe Reinhardt and this demo is actually from my Cisco CCNA voice training course. Dial plan best practices. There are some do's and don'ts with constructing a dial plan. The first is logic and consistency. Sometimes things creep into an IP network just as they do in a telephony network because of necessity. Uh, an engineer may be trying to address a specific problem and uses a short-term workaround and then things get busy and something gets left. And what happens is, as that's done more over time, there is a breakdown of a consistent pattern and logic that can create issues, number one, for troubleshooting and then also for just being able to have a consistent dial plan. So advanced planning is particularly important. Try to anticipate as much as you can. If you think you're going to have 30 users and it could grow to 80 users, try to factor that in. It's very painful to go from, for instance, three-digit extensions to four-digit extensions because you've outgrown the three-digit space. Not really a problem in Communications Manager Express, but the principle still holds the same. Try to allow for future growth. If you have some sort of an idea, think maybe two or three times anything you could possibly need. You're not going to short yourself by trying to cut a wider path. Establish a standard and enforce it. Usually the difficulty with anything, networks, phones, is the people element who want things a certain way, especially if, if management gets involved. It can be very interesting. Try to create a standard that's workable, usable, and flexible, but then actually stick to it. Where possible, use contiguous extension or DID ranges. DID is, stands for direct inward dial. It's frequently blocks of numbers that are allocated by the phone company that essentially become part of a larger dial plan within a company. This actually allows, if you have to summarize, if you recall, IP routing, being able to summarize routes is actually a great way to shrink the size of routing tables. That's so the same way with call, dial plans. Make the dial plan as condensed and simple as possible by summarizing where you can. In addition to logic and consistency, a hierarchical structure. Again, this kind of goes back into the idea of being able to summarize. Try to summarize those numbers in a single statement and try to use, this is more of a communications manager construct, but use single ranges per site rather than multiple ones per site. And finally, simplicity. Try to keep destination patterns simple. Creativity when it comes to destination patterns is not a plus. The idea is try to create less confusion rather than more. Finally, there's some other dial plan parameters to consider. One of the things is something called a transfer pattern. In order to be able to, when you dial into a Communications Manager Express system, you may be able to transfer, for instance, to an extension, and, and that's okay, but if done improperly, someone can actually get into the system, access an outside line, and be able to make international calls, for example, without any authorization. So transfer patterns can permit or block just the way access lists do, and it, it's a very important toll fraud prevention mechanism. We talked a little bit before about digit manipulation or number expansion, translation patterns, you may want to expand a set of numbers, for instance, dial internationally. Or as we talked about with the secondary command with dial peer statements, you actually can take a four-digit DID as an example and expand it into a full E.164 number for transmission of the PSTM. And then there's also class of restriction. We talked a little bit about this conceptually. Privilege groups. You may have a lobby or public space phones that you don't want dialing anywhere but within the office or even perhaps just a receptionist. You may want to have employees be allowed you know, access to call anywhere in the U.S., but not necessarily internationally. And there's also time of day routing. For instance, if nobody in an office is going to be present, there's no sense in leaving the phones accessible for anybody that, you know, night cleaning crew or somewhere else that may come in and make a lot of unnecessary calls. So you can actually implement time of day routing where after a certain time, let's say five o'clock, the dial plan is essentially locked down. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.